Botswana, Burundi, Gambia, Kenya, Rwanda, Senegal, Sierra Leone, South Africa, and Uganda. I was able to visit these nine countries over the past nine months, not because I'm rich, but because I understand the power of points and miles. It took me about two years, give or take, to earn enough points to travel like this. Now, sometimes I will pay cash for a ticket that's only about $100 or $200. In those situations, for me, I'd just rather pay cash and use my points for more expensive flights. Anyway, this year, I've earned points and saved money through travel credits and benefits from a bunch of different credit cards. So in today's video, I'm going to be letting you know the top five cards that earn me the most points or that I benefited most from through different perks. If this kind of content interests you, consider subscribing to the channel and go ahead and smash that like button for me because this is going to be a good one. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Now first, let me start off by saying it doesn't take a lot of points to travel internationally if you know what you're doing. For example, it costs about 20,000 points to travel from Houston, Texas to South Africa. Once you're in South Africa, to hop over to Ethiopia, it only costs another 14,000 points. Then from there, to get to Senegal, it costs another 15,000 points. Then lastly, to fly back to the US, it would only take about 26,000 points. That's three different countries in three different regions of Africa knocked out all in one trip for only 75,000 points. Now, if you can pull that off three times in one year, that's only a total of 225,000 points to visit nine countries. And I'm sure you can find even better deals than that. This is the major benefit of paying for your everyday expenses with a travel reward credit card, especially if those cards have airline and hotel transfer partners. If a traveler instead decided to use one of the major bank's travel portals rather than transferring points out to airline transfer partners, this same three country trip will cost around 250,000 points. And even worse, if you had to pay for those flights using cash, it will cost around $2,500. But anyway, let's take a look at the top five cards that helped me get to those nine countries. The first card that's on the list is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. This car earns you points in a wide variety of different categories. You'll earn 10 points per dollar spent on hotels and car rentals booked through the Chase Travel Portal, 10 points per dollar spent on lift rides through March 2025, 5 points per dollar spent on flights booked through the Chase Travel Portal, 3 points per dollar spent on all travel not booked on the portal, 3 points per dollar spent on dining purchases, and 1 point per dollar spent on everything else. And for those that don't already have the card, you can also earn 60,000 points as a sign-up bonus after you spend $4,000 on the card in the first three months of account opening. Now, I mainly use this card for short flights near surrounding cities or states to earn that 5x back on flights booked through the Chase Travel Portal. I also use it to get that 3x back on dining, the 10x back on lift rides, and sometimes the 3x back on travel not booked on the taste travel portal. Altogether this year, this card has earned me about 40,000 Chase Ultimate Reward Points. As far as the benefits of this card, there are quite a few. So for time's sake, I'll just go over the ones I use. First, and probably the most beneficial to me, is the ability to transfer my points over to one of their 14 airline and hotel transfer partners. The Chase partners I use most are Air Canada, Air France KLM, United Airlines, and Virgin Atlantic. You can find some great deals to South Africa via Virgin Atlantic and Air France, and also some good routes to Senegal through Air France. The list goes on and on. The car also gives me an annual $300 broad travel credit that I mostly try to use to cover any taxes and fees left over after I pay for a flight using points. Next, I use my Sapphire Reserve to cover my Priority Pass membership that gives me airport lounge access, which is super beneficial because of how often I travel. And I also use it to cover my global entry application fee, which is reimbursed as a statement credit. Lastly, if I do find a relatively cheap flight on the Chase Travel Portal, I might also use some of my Chase points to cover it, because with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, your points are worth 1.5 cents per point when redeemed on their travel portal. Only the Sapphire Reserve and US Bank Altitude Reserve offer that. For example, 
This flight from Zambia to Tanzania only cost $224. So in this situation, I might purchase it on the Chase portal for only 15,000 points. It all depends on how many points I currently have at the time and what my travel plans are for the rest of the year. But as you can see, the card definitely gives me a lot of value and that's why I'll probably never cancel my Sapphire Reserve as long as I'm traveling. The second card that's been very beneficial to me is my City Premier. This card earns 3 points per dollar spent at restaurants, supermarkets, gas stations, and air travel. And check this out, for almost a year now, the car also has been offering 10 points per dollar spent on hotel stays and car rentals booked on the City Thank You Portal, which has earned me a ton of points this year. However, this special promotion is scheduled to end June 30th, 2024, at which time it will go back down to the normal 3X. I mainly use this card at supermarkets and gas stations throughout the year to rack up City Thank You points on a weekly basis. But during 2023, a big chunk of my thank you points came from the limited time 10x on hotel stays. Like I said, I've visited nine countries throughout the year. But with that, I've visited probably twice as many cities. And when I'm not staying at a Hilton or Marriott property, then I'm more than likely booking my stays through the city thank you portal, earning that 10x back on hotel stays. Overall, I've earned about 25,000 points from this card this year. For those that don't have the card, you can also rack up 60,000 points through their sign-up bonus after spending $4,000 on the card in the first three months of account opening. Now, as far as the benefits I've been taking advantage of, City has 18 airline and hotel transfer partners that I've massively benefited from over the years. The transfer partners I've used most this year, though, have been Air France, Avianca Life Miles, and Virgin Atlantic. I'll tell you now, there is no way I can travel as much as I do without transfer partners because I save so many points by using partners rather than redeeming my points on the portal or as a statement credit. The city premier benefit that I use is the annual hotel savings benefit. With this, I save $100 when I book a stay of $500 or more on the city thank you portal. It basically zeroes out my annual fee. This card has been great for me but I'm looking at replacing it in 2024 as I also have the City Prestige that's been great as well. I've mainly been keeping the City Premier around for that 3X grocery category. So the third card that I've racked up a bunch of points with is the US Bank Altitude Reserve. The car earns five points per dollar spent on hotel stays and car rentals booked in the Altitude Reserve Center, three points per dollar spent on all eligible travel not booked in the Altitude Reward Center, three points per dollar spent on mobile wallet spending, such as Google Pay, Apple Pay, and Samsung Pay, and one point per dollar spent everywhere else. Now, I basically only use this card to earn that 3X back on mobile wallet spending. If I can't earn 4X or more with any of my other credit cards, then out comes my cell phone to pay for my purchases if they accept mobile wallet payments which most places I shop at do. This category alone earns me about 25,000 points a year. At the time of recording this video, the car also has a 50,000 point signup bonus after spending $4,500 on the car in the first three months of account opening. Now US Bank doesn't have any transfer partners, but they do allow you to redeem your points on their travel portal at a rate of 1.5 cents per point, just like the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So for those flights in the $200 to $300 range, this is where I'll typically book with my altitude points. As far as the benefits with this card, the only one I really use is the annual $325 broad travel and dining credit. And just like with the CSR, I typically use this credit to cover taxes and fees on award flights. But if I didn't take so many award flights each year, I would be using that credit on airline tickets, hotel stays, or any of the other travel expenses that this credit covers. All right, moving on, the fourth card that earned me a bunch of points this year is my Capital One Venture. This car earns me two miles per dollar spent on everything, plain and simple. I spend a lot of time overseas, and this is the car that I almost always use when traveling internationally. Depending on where I'm at, sometimes restaurants don't code as restaurants, supermarkets don't code as supermarkets, and so on. 
So I use this card because I know that whatever it codes as, I'm gonna earn 2x miles on everything. I've earned about 20,000 miles on this card this year alone. As far as the benefits, the only one I've used with this card is my two Capital One Lounge visits at DFW Airport, which by the way, is one of my favorite US lounges. Now, if you haven't heard, starting January 1st, 2025, you'll no longer be able to enter Capital One lounges with this card. It is what it is. All right, the last card on the list that's earned me a good amount of points this year is my good old Chase Freedom Flex. This car earns five points per dollar spent on travel purchased on the Chase Travel Portal and also on select quarterly rotating categories. Three points per dollar spent on dining and at drug stores and one point per dollar spent on everything else. Now I only use this card at drug stores and also on those 5X rotating categories and they usually have some good ones. Each quarter, you can only earn 5X back on those rotating quarterly categories on up to $1,500 in combined purchases. If you're able to max out each quarter, that can earn you 7,500 ultimate reward points every three months. The easiest categories for me to max out are grocery stores, amazon.com purchases, gas stations, and PayPal. Overall, the Freedom Flex has earned me about 20,000 ultimate reward points this year. Now, as far as the signup bonus, they currently have an increased offer. At the time of recording this video, you're gonna earn $200, which is the same as 20,000 ultimate reward points after spending $500 on the card in the first three months of account opening. And on top of that, you're gonna earn 5X back at gas stations and grocery stores on up to $12,000 in spend in the first year of having the card. This is an excellent signup offer. By the way, if you're interested in any of these cards and you wanna support the channel, you can do so by applying using the links in the description box below. Thanks in advance. Now, as far as the benefits that I used this year with the Freedom Flex, well, there weren't any. However, if you have the Freedom Flex along with the Chase Sapphire Reserve or Preferred, which I do, Chase will allow you to transfer the points earned on your Freedom Flex over to your Reserve or Preferred card, where you will then have access to those 14 transfer partners. Well, there it is. This is how I was able to visit nine countries in nine months. It definitely wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for credit card points and miles. Now, I'm not saying that anybody should start traveling more than your schedule or budget permits. You don't wanna start spending money that you otherwise wouldn't have or living beyond your means. I was already traveling a lot before I discovered points and miles. This just helps me save money and do it on another level. In the comments section, let me know what cards earn you the most points. Also, let me know which benefits you value most. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.